Good morning, everybody. My name is Kirill Karoshukov. I'm from the University of Sheffield, and uh, I uh, principal investigator on this uh, network. Um, myself and my uh, colleague uh, Richard Kruster, so the back, so from Imperial College, uh, who is a co-investigator, would like to welcome you all in this wonderful Hall of the Royal Society. Thank you very much for coming here and supporting this network. Maybe I'll give a few words about actually history of this network. So basically, uh, the idea of getting the network out in acoustics started in the same building here in the Royal Society. Approximately a uh, year and a half ago, uh, the Research Coordination Committee of the Institute of Acoustics uh, decided to organize an event here in April 2016, which we called the Acoustics Research Challenges. And that then, this event uh, was attended by approximately 100 uh, participants, which was a good balance, like now, between uh, industry and academia. And one message uh, from that event was actually the acoustics research in the UK are internationally leading, but they're desperate. And uh, this community needs a better connection and a focus, like this network, for. Um, but uh, um, innovation and uh, uh, communication between uh, several groups. And this is my main purpose of this work. So uh, after this event, uh, my colleague, uh, Ray Kirby, who is now in Sydney, um, working for a uh, technical university in Sydney, um, Richard Kraster and myself, and other colleagues from the Research Coordination Committee, put together a grant proposal to APSRC. Um, it went to APSRC in, um, January uh, this year, and uh, it was funded uh, in summer, and formerly the network started on the 6th of uh, November this year. I'll tell you more about the visual and objectives for this network and um, what it can do for acoustics in the minute. But um, I also would like to thank APSRC for funding so, so generously. Um, network itself has a uh, a vision um, that the main <coughs> focus of this vision is to bring uh, together the international meeting by disparate UK acoustic research community. Um, we also would like to promote acoustics in the UK uh, nationally and internationally and to provide a coherent single point of access to acoustic research for industry and the government agencies. Um, the main aim of uh, the acoustics network is to enhance communication between uh, separate uh, groups working in acoustics and provide a focus for uh, collaboration and innovation. An important part of the same as well to uh, widen the non-academic impact of the acoustics uh, research in the UK. Um, this picture shows you basic structure of the network. So the key for the network is special interest groups or common things. Um, this SIGs who actually basically, together with the, uh, what's called Alpha TLC or Acoustics uh, Thought Leadership Club, and uh, members of the network form the core. Um, this um, network will be uh, managed by the steering committee, and which is led by a lot of professional bodies, like Institute of Acoustics, Institute of Physics, uh, IMEQ, IC, and IEEE. Also, we have a obviously link to the APSRC and the uh, UB. Um, and also, we have advisory board of academics coming from the uh, UK and the overseas. Outside, we hope to have a uh, link to the wider academia and industry society. Network is open. So, in a minute, I'll show you actually the uh, uh, the newly designed uh, website for the network. This particular page of the website is actually in uh, nine special interest groups. Um, each of you have a number on your page, and you've been allocated to a uh, special interest group, so we can find details in the uh, conference part. So the ninth group are numerical methods and acoustics, uh, led by uh, Valerie Bielfield. So, metal materials uh, led by Richard Kraster, noise led by Professor Abigail Bristol, um, acoustic ultrasonic non disruptive variation led by uh, Professor 
by Bruce Water and the water acoustic well, by Dr. Dublin Williams from DSTL, physical acoustics uh, led by Olga Nova from uh, uh, Salford, art acoustics led by um, Professor uh, Phil Joseph from ICL, and census uh, led by uh, Professor Robert Joyce from uh, Sheffield University. These are open uh, groups and uh, membership and groups uh, is open to industry and academia. So we, there is a uh, link on the page uh, of the website, so join network, um, and I encourage all of you to do so. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to join, you can connect to the network, in this case you will get the mails and updates as well. Uh, currently, we've got nine special options for the network, but actually, this network is open to uh, more. We have to consider new special interest groups, and there is funding provided for that. So, there is opportunity to spend in areas which we haven't covered. <coughs> the network itself, by total economic cost, full economic cost of the network is £687,000. <coughs> APSRC provides 80% of that money. And this money can be spent on uh, a range of activities. For example, we can uh, run uh, special interest group meetings. We can also support mobility of people in the UK and uh, overseas. We can run conferences. We can also run uh, to do outreach to uh, promote acoustics uh, to uh, general public and in schools. We also can run a training event for industry and uh, particularly career researchers who uh, may be junior to acoustics, but working on a research project, a project on R&D. Also, we have funding to uh, help uh, particularly early career researchers to uh, improve the quality of their ground bits, um, so to stay competitive against other disciplines, um, which uh, APSRC or other research councils fund. And also have funding on completely blue sky ad hoc events, which we don't know yet what it is, but we want to know your opinion, what you want to do. So out of the 687,000 pounds, about half a million pounds available for these activities. So some of them are for management. For example, we are very happy to enjoy the support from Charlotte Swain, who is here as well, so she is 40% uh, full economic cost uh, network and we spent. Um, two more slides. Um, the mid term work plan for the network, and this one reason why we have this uh, discussion this afternoon, is to identify industry most pressing needs, identify future research challenges, international agendas, and opportunities for acoustics, map the above against ongoing and potential research projects expand this special interest group structure and to engage industry uh, with special interest groups and also identify training needs for industry and for academia. I, uh, I'll just go briefly through the, uh, today's, uh, um, uh, today's uh, plan. Um, we have morning presentations, they're all very short. Unfortunately, we lost uh, Dr. Neil Byer from MSRC. He called me this morning and he went down with really bad flu, so therefore, unfortunately, we're not going to listen to him today. But after him, we've got three uh, non-academic speakers, who are Kim um, <coughs> Knowles from Arabs, uh, John Lamb from Dyson, and Mark Swain from uh, Amasel. That will be followed by um, um, presentations by uh, um, people who already run networks, um, and these are uh, Bruce Drinkwater, um, Martin Juniper, and uh, John Philip Grubin from, from France. And then uh, we uh, would uh, have a presentation by the nine signatures, so all the five minutes of us. And then uh, there is opportunity for you to ask questions. So in uh, the open discussion before we start lunch. During the lunch, we're going to project a um, slideshow uh, on the 55 inch uh, plasma screen in the uh, um, dining area. And this uh, slideshow basically would present uh, what we feel fundamental questions, so which we would like you to discuss over lunch. Um, for example, uh, what they do well overseas in acoustics. So, uh, what we do need to do to stay competitive 
in acoustic related research and so on. In the afternoon session, the key is 75 minutes uh, discussions with individual six. This will be facilitated by people from uh, Imperial College. There's a uh, few ladies in here, so and uh, their colleagues as well. They will make sure that uh, your views of the report can properly discuss. Then uh, in the coffee break, uh, Richard Crosley is going to uh, help bring together people who consider themselves early career researchers and uh, he will facilitate discussion about their needs. And um, then there will be group reporting, and finally, those who sign in for the uh, Thames crew, so, so uh, we'll be sailing on Thames for a couple of hours, so with some drinks and canopies, so to uh, continue networking in more relaxed atmosphere of the board crews and all crew.